folks, welcome back to Valhalla. Valdala. Vidalia, Vidalia Onions, <laughs> the game. Welcome back to them Vidalia them Onions. Good old Vidalia Onion dip that's got <laughs> some zero this cream. Is a, this is an incredibly strong opening. <laughs> cold, that's cold, not cold, cold, only cold. clever. But it's relevant to the, the game material. I like talking about those. <laughs> that new news that everyone's talking about. Vidalia Onions. Thank you, Short. This is a terrible bit that never made it to the point where it was a bit. Okay, look, sometimes you have to cut things on the cutting room floor. Like, not everything makes it to airtime, but you do have to at least workshop the joke. You're right, we have to <laughs> throw things at the wall here, and surely we'll go back in the edit and We'll go back and we'll cut it, you know? Yeah, that's how this and works. And then we'll give people a fine-tuned product. Anyway, this is Valhalla. Cold, 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 cold. <laughs> what, what were you talking about, Jill? I think she was standing out in the alleyway. Oh, and okay. it is December, so okay. it's probably cold. Let's get rid of every day is night because that doesn't make sense. No, nope. <laughs> we're it not with... even going to listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> already know, we already know. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're going always... to have to straight. Oh my God, it's so good. Oh. oh, I was just talking about how Alma is absolutely my favorite person in this game right now. Yeah, I actually um, agree with you on that. Like, I just think she's the, the like, at the, at least at this point, the most well-rounded, well-written character yeah. that we've encountered. And and she's, she's crude in the same universe, but in the way that, like, literally all my friends are. Well, and she feels more human in yeah. it, as opposed to almost, like like a parody exactly of it. Yeah. she actually is just like no i'm just like a i don't know i love her and i don't know how anything in this game works even a little bit but i'd love to do her route and i'm just gonna say that early yeah but we so we we were talking about it and we we're i feel like we haven't had any chances to like prove ourselves to alma yet not really like we have with dorothy or with yeah. stella in the past so but she's here now so let's yeah. see uh <clears throat> wait, wait what is it it's uh it's, it's midnight channel teddy yeah, right exactly okay. all right it sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Billy Vine? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently he got into some legal trouble and that's why he's like that. Really? He could also just be very nice crackhead though. So, are you gonna tell me? What? Why did you stop having one night stands and all that? I started working here. I don't know. Oh, who'd she meet when she worked here? Hello. Yeah, she met boss. I know. <laughs> I don't... Jill Jill does not have a secret no, so far. No, it's there's... just like, yeah, she's in love with her boss. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Also, uh, it there's no signal up on the TV, I... which means what's her face might be coming back at some point. What's her Our face? ghost, our robot ghost. Our robot ghost. Yeah, still weird that we haven't seen robot ghost for a Especially long while. Especially because she's on the save screen, and yeah. we, we saw her only that one time, so... Yeah, yeah. and she started the game. Yep. Uh, yeah, weird. Anyway, I don't know. After I started working here, I felt like I didn't need to do that anymore. Maybe I was just lonely? Aw, how cute. I also got fed up with everyone complaining about me smoking on the bed. <laughs> You're gonna burn the bed with that. Yeah, yeah. If you ever need a hug, just let me know. And don't need, uh, you don't need a one night stand for that. You left me thinking though, what's your thing? Your fetish. I'm really glad I didn't say, I was about to say, gosh, Alma is trying to be such a good friend. Nope. And Jill's <laughs> rebuffing her. And then I was like, okay, nope. now that we've established that. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're past all that sentimental bullshit. Mine is giving hugs to people, turns out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what do you like to do with feet? <laughs> You strike me as the kind to have an overpower fetish of sorts. You want to feel totally swayed by someone. Have consensual yet forceful sex with your partner. <laughs> Did I hit the bullseye? You have quite the imagination, girl. Honey! Some service here! Our favorite girls! It's Dorothy! <laughs> I'm here, don't scream. Uh huh. Were you two hanging out uh, by the back dun, door? Dun, dun, yeah. dun, 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 dun. Dorothy shows up and is like, it's driving wild time. <laughs> oh, were you two hanging out by the back door, uh, back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? All my friends are sex addicts. Gong, gong, giggy, gong, gong, giggy. Just like, the only normal one is the guy who's probably on the run from, from multiple some, militaries. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. 
Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? But I like you! <laughs> Do you dislike my presence so much? Sweet and non-alcoholic, you say? All right. Okay. <laughs> Sweet and alcohol-free. Here we go. Are there no alcohol drinks? Uh, sure. The optional ones. Yeah, the optional here we go. Ones. Done. Right done here. And done. done and she done. She wants a sugar you rush. You get a sugar rush, darling. Honey, I guess. Uh, do you want to give her a, a big alcohol-free sugar rush? Absolutely. Do you want to give her a shit ton of alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I actually no, I'm kidding, don't. I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. But I do want it to be big. I want her to give her basically a gigantic milkshake. Exactly. <laughs> like the size of her body. Uh, one, two... And that's it. <laughs> that's the whole drink. Enjoy. <laughs> Two. <laughs> it's three, a big old four. Edelheid shot. There you go. Which sounds a lot like Edelgard. <laughs> Edelgard? <laughs> no, that's not sweet or fruity. No, uh, that's something else. Well, a little bit fruity, depending on how you play it. And I think a lot of sweet. I really like it. I like her. You know a what? Ton. I rescind it. It's perfect for her. <laughs> um, okay. Here you go. Here, like you asked. See? You don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. Who's Lawrence? <laughs> Tell me all about Lawrence. But he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of soda. Lawrence? My favorite band, by the way. Can I take just a moment? Lawrence is the best band ever. They're a brother-sister duo. I love them. I've been obsessed with them for like three years now. I was now. about to say, you've been on your Lawrence train for a real long time I now. kept expecting my Lawrence kick to go away, and it never has, which shows how much I like Lawrence. So if you guys are looking for like some awesome, 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 like pop music, but it's got a whole brass section and some crazy vocals, and they're like this cool, really young brother-sister duo, which mm -hmm. I love. Check them out. They're so good. It's spelled the exact same as it was on this band, or on, on the game. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I just, I, I don't share a lot of the music I'm listening to, but that was a good gateway. They're so good. All right, cool. We're back to the game now. Fair enough. Turns out Lawrence is a vending machine. <laughs> a friend of mine. He's sponsored a by Lawrence. Yes, not sponsored by Lawrence. <laughs> but like, please. <laughs> yeah, are you right. kidding? I'd yeah, love to. right. Dude, Clyde and Gracie are awesome. Like, I know their first names. That's how much I like this band. Read your line. <laughs> anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but how impolite of me. Hmm? I'm lonely and my name's Dorothy. <laughs> lovely, Dorothy Hayes. lovely. She's lovely. I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> She's lovely, not lonely. <laughs> I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes, nice to meet you. I forgot you. how much I like Dorothy, too. <laughs> I do, too. <laughs> oh, I'm Alma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep. Why? <laughs> Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me! Mostly about your... Uh, pluckiness. And here I was thinking it was because of I'm a sex worker. <laughs> I got lost in that one. Yep. <laughs> so much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself. Thank you very much. Where do you work, Alma? I'm a hacker. Didn't you just say that was the wrong she, word? She did, in fact, just say that okay, was her. Okay, all right. Really? A full-fledged hacker? Not the kind that sees a computer logged into uh, some account and says that's hacking, right? <laughs> no, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Okay, don't know what tune is going on right now, but it's the next one to go. <laughs> yeah, it's way too down. It's real way down. Way too down. I also think it's literally sandwiched by two driving the wilds <laughs> on either side. We fucked that one up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, do, you just, uh, do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No. I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until we try, right? Last time I said that, I had to jam the plastic replica of a halogen light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> she says with a smile. <laughs> you won't know until we try, right? You won't know. I guess what? It didn't it work. Did, but it didn't <laughs> yeah, work. I wouldn't have known unless I gave it a good, hard effort. Oh my god. <laughs> it was so oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then. Let me try to explain, uh, in general, how it works. 
Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. This is also a great case in point on why I like Alma, because compared to Dorothy, she seems like a completely normal hero. I know, but then you she's take her so on her own normal. and she's like, kinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, I read this one. Sorry. All right. <laughs> First, I do some research on the target, OS, servers, how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my side. I start working behind proxies, websites, and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. Now I go through the basic protocols, try to uh, try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've te oh shit. Once I've yeah, driving walls there back. There we go. Once I've tested the dra ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and look to bypass them. Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. I I see. Then when I'm finally in, I go and retrieve user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a, a super user and get what I need. How, how do you do that? Well, there are a couple ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into the already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. Buff, 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 buff. What, what, what happens next? What happens next? I create a backup in the system before leaving and covering my so tracks. I thought she was getting bored, but is she getting turned on? Or is she get Oh, maybe she's getting turned on. Maybe I she really tell. likes this. I can't tell. I really Maybe can't she tell. really likes this. I don't know how to read these lines. <laughs> Let's I, I was reading it. I was like, oh, I shouldn't have. That's ask. what I thought too, but this is, this exactly. is, she's stimulated in some capacity. <laughs> in some capacity. <laughs> Yeah, okay, yes. Yeah, there it is, yeah. there it is. I can't handle it anymore! Oh my, <laughs> hack me, hack me like you've never hacked anything before. <laughs> <laughs> Make my, my buffer overflow, create a back door, and be escalate user privileges, find flaws in my security! <laughs> okay, this is objectively <laughs> this funny. This is very funny. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, I got carried away. No shit. What happened? <laughs> Have you ever seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook, but they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. <laughs> Horty Lilim are an unexpected, uh, unexploited market. Okay, look, Alma. <laughs> <laughs> Business. Alma's like, I'm actually okay with that. Like, that I'm, sounds like yeah, a great that's opportunity. A good, yeah. I'm giving you what you want. Like, I see. <laughs> no, actually, Looks almost like, like I'm right incredibly here. uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Bye, Jill. <laughs> Bye. It looks like my ride. Your ride? Yep. My brother-in-law came to look for me. Is it already? Uh, is it alright to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happens that he got married to my sister. Hey, Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by the third street? I'm sure, it's on the way. Hey! I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Okay, I guess I hit it off. Okay, bye, guys. Shit. Cool. Take care. <laughs> the street seems noisy. Oh, a client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get, Donovan? Uh, oh, uh -oh. hello, <laughs> you. <laughs> hmm. Question. A question <laughs> indeed. You or me? I don't know. Do you have anything? Mm, such a small, yet comfortable place. Mm, truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of a suburban desert. Is mm. there an accent here? What is going on? I don't know. I'm on? figuring it out. We're okay. morphing as we go. You do need to project, though. <laughs> or lean forward. Mm. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let me go right up. Let me get... 
no, 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 no. Let me go right up close to the mic. No, I'm not Hello, hello. This is ASMR with Jay Smith and Joe. Stop it. A place where. <laughs> I feel like I'm close to something. I don't know <laughs> what the fuck it <laughs> is, though. A, pla- a, pl- a, pl- hmm? a place where lost and corrupt souls can gather. <laughs> Gina, you want to go to the shop? You can't laugh that loud near the mic. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh-huh. A place. A, a, okay, 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 okay. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. I'm okay with this. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. Truly, a real persona non grata. I hope this guy's a one drink kind of fellow. A one drink fellow. (laughs) That's Latin for mysterious place. By the way, I'm so smart and philosophical. All right, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. <laughs> I feel like I should have taken him so you're not talking to yourself God damn. again. But you found him, so it's too late. Shit. All right, next one is yours no matter what they look like. I will do that. Done. Okay. Fine. What do you have then? 17. Excuse me? I said 17. 7 plus 10. Teen. What? What does that mean? Sorry, I forgot. I, I'm so thrown by this that I forgot I have to actually play the game. You do. <laughs> what does it mean to you? Do, do, okay, just oh, all right. Just to be sure, seventeen is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. Seventeen. What the hell does that mean? Okay, I have a couple thoughts on what that could be. It could okay. be the seventeenth drink, or it could be a drink that contains seventeen parts. Oh, that is tricky. So we're going to go with 17th drink first. Okay. Is there like a full list of them? Uh, yeah, there is. Um, give me a sec. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. So that makes sense. Yeah. I think it's going to be the seventh, this. It's a what is that Man, drink? Okay. Which doesn't have 17 parts, but which feels like the safest. parts. Which one do you like more? I, I feel like, given that this is labeled 17, um, it's probably the, the best shot. Um, but I could look for one that has 17 Can parts. we just see the options, just in case? Yeah. And maybe it might be more expensive, too. Which okay. Would be well, nice. the, the Piano Man is pretty expensive. Is that the most expensive drink? Yeah, but here we I go. I forget the average. So the only way for a drink to be 17 parts, so long as I can tell is to make a double is if it's a double which means we need to find one but optional karma train optional karma train optional karma train do you feel that one i feel like it is the less expected answer all right 17 yeah, is that's easy fair. considering that this is a a um it seems like a test mm-hmm. then us being clever would be this Give him a blue fairy and just uh, amp Fucking it up load yeah. that shit with car- so okay wait a big blue fairy would be um, 10 ingredients and then seven karma train. Yeah. You want to just give that a shot? Fine. Um, you know what? Yes. Let's okay. Try. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, and then, and then seven, right? And then one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven, two, nine, eight, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay? eight, seventeen. Yes, that's okay. math. Okay. I haven't done it in a while. Aged and mixed. Okay, beautiful. Two, three, four. Look at that. And do you want to serve this next time? Sure. And see. Yeah, honestly, uh, it's it really feels like it's a toss up, but this seems look, more fun. Hey, here's the thing. We don't like him anyway. That's so... true. And, and honestly, if he's a one drink man, this may <laughs> be a, the way to knock him out. He's a one drink pony. Get the fuck out of yeah. there, big guy. <laughs> we chose wrong. All right, then we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.